Is there a problem, Mr. Marston? Can we get going? You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Excellent to see you today. Hello, friend. I got a stock of them electric belts. Thanks a lot. Lose weight. The marshal may as well hand armadillo over to them thugs. For all they done is stop them. Now, how you think she'd be having all that money? Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you. Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. The saloon's this way. Who are we looking for? Bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Is the 
dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Walton's the top screw. Let's get after him. God damn it, he's on to us. Get after him. Can't lose that trail, boy. Catch up with me when you can. Walton's as bad as you say he is. Why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. How long is easy money for easy work? Yola Spring, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Must be at the old Pleasant's house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. Come on, easy up now. Looks like we got company, boys. <laughs> Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. Take cover behind that wagon to your right. Behind the crate, Arson. Smoke him up. Head for the crate, boy. I'll cover you. That bull behind the rock is yours, Marston. Now get to that rock. I'll shoot you some space. Watch out for that sneaky bastard behind the outhouse! Good! Now move up to the outhouse, Marston! I knew it! Quick! Deal with those two, Marston! I'll kill every last one of you! Oh my good god! Up here, Coxon! Hey, now wake relax, up! Partner, we got trouble! Before I shoot a hole in your head! Inside the house. Let's see if we can take him alive. Walton, your killing days are over. It'll be trial and the rope for you. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Come on.
I'm way over my head here. Them animals. Walton's boys have taken my daughter. Looks like we got trouble heading our way. Let's get you back home. <laughs> 